Welcome to the NatFL channel, where we keep you updated on NFL news every day. Each and every NFL franchise heads into the offseason with a to-do list. For the Dolphins, a talented wide receiver market is going to bring multiple reinforcements into the picture. And while we don't know which players the team is most interested in, there should be some peace of mind that, at the very least, there's interest in the Dolphins organization from some of the players set to hit the market. Barry Jackson of the Miami Herald wrote up an extensive outlook on the Dolphins' wide receiver situation yesterday and along the way it was revealed that more than one experienced veteran receiver would have interest in the Miami Dolphins next month when free agent negotiations kicked off. A source said, Marvin Jones, 76 catches, 978 yards for Detroit, got a call from former Lions teammate Matt Stafford about potentially joining him with the Rams but Miami and Jacksonville also would be two teams that would interest him. Colts receiver T.Y. Hilton, who attended FIU, would welcome Dolphins overtures after a 56-catch, 762-yard season in Indianapolis, an associate included Miami on a list of teams that could hold appeal to Steelers W.R. Juju Smith Schuster if the Steelers don't keep him. Marvin Jones, T.Y. Hilton, Juju Smith-Schuster. The Dolphins will clearly have options, as the program they're building in South Florida under the watch of Chris Greer and Brian Flores continues to earn respect from other talents across the league. This is fairly uncharted waters for the Dolphins in recent memory, being a desirable free agent destination. The Dolphins of the past would have needed to commit extra cash to get players to pick Miami over other contenders, and those talents rarely materialized as quality additions for the team. The end result was a bloated salary cap with several prominent underachievers in tow. And a rebuild to purge a decade's worth of bad habits after that. So consider this development a positive change, Dolphins fans. Players have their eyes on Miami and they like what they see. Of course, the Dolphins are still going to have to pay up to seal the deal but at the very least they're on the list. That's half the battle.